My name is Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. Had a problem with one of my DIY projects, my 60% seat delete. I just couldn't get to anything in there. Why is it everything I need is always at the very back? You know what? I think it's worth the money to be able to get to stuff. Holy crap. Hmm. Here is the plywood 60% seat delete. Underneath there, I just built some platforms and all that good stuff. And that's where I couldn't get to. But quick help of a circular saw and some hinges, problem solved. I have to make sure that nothing's gonna end up on the panels here that are my supports. I mean, I've got stuff I can put in here, stuff I can put in the other side, all that good jazz. I gotta be careful, but all in all, I think these cost maybe two or three bucks a piece. This just bolts in with two bolts using the original seat hardware. I'm supposed to use a special, I guess, reverse Torx bit on that. Turns out that a 7 16th socket will also work just fine. All right, now for my custom part with the hinges. Let's see what the dimensions are. I am right at the two inch mark. That's where I made the cut. I got three inch hinges. That just means that they're an inch and a half on each direction. And then this one final support here, this guy right here, because I'd put this hinge section in, it didn't have any support at all other than where it's screwed in here. So I wanted this to be able to have a support for this front side here because there was nothing really holding it in place. And the dimensions on the block of wood that I used, looks like one and three quarters inch, and then right at an inch and an eighth. I recessed the bolt for the seat into it, so it just kind of be out of the way. As far as the dimensions go on this, and the build instructions, step-by-step, step, all that good stuff, huge shout out to Gator Overland. That's where I got the idea from. They've also got all the dimensions and a full step-by-step -step video on how to make one of these. It is awesome. Thank you, Gator Overland. Half-inch plywood isn't thick enough, right? I think it'll do just fine. I'm gonna have three passengers. And if you've ever seen any of my videos and looked in the rear seat, you know it's basically just piled full of crap. So I gotta find places to put everything. I got a place to store my uh, Yeti 500 power station, as well as some other miscellaneous things that you need at hand. I've also incorporated my DIY storage container back here. Unclip it, drops right down keep anything I need to back here and still be able to get to it. I've also been working on a DIY attic. This is just my prototype. I have a feeling I'll be making the final version on this one. I think it's gonna pass the trail test. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends. I think it'll help them out. Till next time, enjoy the ride.